Hello again, Star Stable family. It's time for another episode of Star Stable. Stacy, thank you for joining me today with beautiful honey clover looking fantastic today. <laughs> we are at Steve's farm right now because I know Donald has finally finished that vest for us. <laughs> I'm excited to check it out and I'm eager to see what other quests we can get into today. Things are really starting to get rolling. We're almost at 13. I'm so excited. Soon we'll be getting into Dino Valley and Golden Hills Valley and I can't wait. So we need to dig in and get some quests done. <laughs> Let's get started. Hello, Donald. Hello. It's ready now, isn't it nice? Oh, let's find out. <laughs> hey, that are Here you are, try it on. I hope you'll really like it. Oh, it's got rainbows on it. Oh gosh, it really does have all the colors that we had to go get. Oh wow. <laughs> Thanks, Donald. <laughs> I wonder does it have any stats? Oh my gosh, it's <laughs> it does. It has more stats than the top we were wearing. <laughs> that's so funny. Thank you, Donald. We'll wear it today. That's that's not bad. It's pink. It matches the pink gear we have on. We're gonna wander over here to Steve, who seems to have a quest. I think maybe about the chipmunks. Hmm. Oh yes, we had to put out cabbage for them. Is what we're gonna do. You know what? The cabbage has arrived. Take this pile of cabbage and put them into the holes in the field, as the vet said. Then we'll see if the small creatures will act friendly towards you. Okay. <laughs> cabbage, huh? Let's open it. All right, one of eight. We got this. Oh, oh my gosh, he jumped up. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, there he is. Alrighty. I found way more excitement out of that than I ever thought I would. Chipmunks, yay! Who knew vegetables could be so exciting? Who knew? Okay, last one. They're acting pretty friendly, Steve. So they peeked up from the holes and seemed happy? Great! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to stand on Steve. What do you think about letting them live behind the barn? In the corner of the old wall where the race starts. Then we won't have to walk very far when it's time to give them cabbage. Here, take these signs and put them up around here so no one walks or rides in this area and gets hurt. We don't want any tourists to get stuck. No, definitely don't want that. But that's a good idea. I really love that they just relocated the chipmunks. That's so sweet. All right, five signs. We got this. We got this. It's like a perfect little chipmunk area. Steve really should start a zoo. <laughs> he could charge admission, have a race, pet some horses, look at the chipmunks. All right, last one. Better not lose any tourists now. Although it might be a problem when we're racing if chipmunks are running across the path. Mm -hmm. Well done, Nova. Now we've made a new home for our small friends. A bathtub? You think we should give them a bathtub? <laughs> the vet said that they like to take baths because they get so dirty. Yeah, that sounds fair. <laughs> Barney at the silo has some old water troughs. I'm sure he'll give one to us. Barney used to be outside a silo to the east of us. Not so far away. Oh, that's right. You've met him before. Oh, he said used to be. I thought maybe Barney had gone missing like everybody else in town. Hey, Barney. <laughs> We're here for another request. <laughs> An old water trough? A bathtub for chipmunks? Steve seems to get weirder each day. <laughs> I think he's using my grain for other things than feeding the birds. Of course you can take an old water trough. I think there's one behind the silo. If you could find one and it's not broken, you could take it. I don't know, broken? Oh, I guess it would leak. I was gonna say, I don't think the chipmunks need like a new bathtub, but okay. Is my horse carrying this bathtub? Man, honey clover, you're so strong. <laughs> 
here's your bathtub, I think. <laughs> it would be funny if it were like the Christmas tree and we saw it across the back of the horse. <laughs> hmm. oh, it's a fine trough. <laughs> hmm. So you could take it right there at the chipmunk's future home. <laughs> future home of the chipmunks. We should put a sign up, a billboard. Future home of the chipmunks. Oh, I kept saying a bathtub. I guess it's a trough. Oh, I was thinking like, a trough, like a big water trough. I guess it's a bowl. All right, Steve, we put down the bathtub. <laughs> so, now it's done. Oh, yes it is. Take the rest of the cabbage and put it in the chipmunk's new home so we can see if they want to go there. Right, more cabbage. <laughs> more cabbage. I hope they do. Oh, that's a lot of cabbage. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> Those chipmunks moved quick. Awesome. Hmm. How nice that they moved here so fast. I think they like both you and the cabbage a lot. I hope they'll live and be happy here in their new home so no one will fall down in holes anymore. Thank you again for the an assignment well done. You can come back and help me feed them if you want to. Thanks. I almost forgot. The old holes that the chipmunks made have to be filled. They're too dangerous. Take this shovel and fill them. When you come back, I'll have a nice reward for you. Ooh, pants. <laughs> yes, pants. Thanks, Steve. Everyone around here is just so nice. <laughs> oh, dismounted. It always makes me sad. My horses are so pretty. I don't want to leave them. Eight. All right. Done. All filled. Let's go, Honey Clover. Back to Steve. Hmm. Thanks. We are done for now. We have to wait and see if any more mysterious small animals show up on the farm. If they do, I know who to call for help, don't I? Have a nice day in Silverblade, Nova. Thanks, Steve. Let's check out those pants. Oh, they're pink. <laughs> they, they match my uh, top there a little bit. Actually, they match my hair. <laughs> we'll leave them on for today. We might as well. <laughs> cool. I just wanted to run by the field here to say hello to everybody hanging out at Steve's. They're doing some running around and racing in here. It's pretty entertaining to watch. <laughs> Oh, here we could see the Icelandic tolting. There he goes. <laughs> Having a blast. <laughs> we are so close to level 13, you guys. <laughs> so close. I'm so excited. Let's talk to Foreman Olaf about getting this gondola done up mm -hmm. here. Uh, yes, check it out. Now we have an excavator. Awesome. Now we can take down all the trees and other stuff that is in the way of the station down here. Here are a couple of GPS locators. Put them in the ground beside everything that needs to be removed. Just leaving it up to me to decide what needs to be removed? Okay. If you say so. Okay, looks like we got four. Four objects. Last one, this giant tree. Awesome. Hmm. Awesome, Nova. I'll send out the excavator right away. Now the trees are gone. It is time to build the foundations. Finally, concrete is what we need. Pick up the concrete bags over there. What? Oops. I, I seem to have forgotten the concrete. I was so concerned about the excavator that I forgot to order the concrete. Can you ride down to North Link and ask the guys if they have an ex any extra concrete? Does he not have a team? <laughs> Don't construction workers normally have like a team of people that do stuff? Or do they always just ask young ladies on horses? <laughs> What does he do when I'm not around? Does he just kind of hang out? <laughs> does he does he do anything, do you think? Goes over and plays video games with this guy? <laughs> Crew leader. Concrete? Sure. We have lots we are not using. <laughs> we could fix you up with some concrete. That is no problem, but you need to help me first. Zombie horse pole bending apocalypse is fantastic. 
but I'm sure it would be more fun with someone else to play with. Find someone who wants to play together with me, and I'll give so much concrete, it will be coming out of your ears. I don't need that much, sir. <laughs> that sounds like a problem. So I imagine we have to go find Miss Morse, right? Because she was obsessed with playing zombie horse pole bending apocalypse. There she is, Miss Morse, <laughs> and her beautiful horse. Play together? That would be amazing! But who is this man you are talking about anyways? It would be fantastic to play zombie horse pole bending apocalypse with someone else, but what is he like really? I, I don't really want to go play with some creepy guy. <laughs> I need to look him up on the internet on my smartphone. It is nice we have such good reception up here in the mountains. Yes, it's not like that anywhere else. Banked. He's a nice looking man. Now we'll see. Favorite color, black and pink. Interests, video games, heavy metal, excavators, and flowers. He sounds perfect. Those are the same as mine. <laughs> oh, Miss Morris. I need to see that handsome guy with my own eyes. We'll check by North Link Nova. I'll ride down there right away. Cool. <laughs> check it out, you guys. The building is up. That's pretty cool. Hey, Chief Crew Leader Banked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello there, gorgeous. Are you the one who loves games as much as me? If you think you have a chance, you could try and beat me at pole bending apocalypse. Of course, the cement, Nova. I'll deliver it right away. But first, we'll test out the game here. Just a bit. <laughs> All right. So we got a clock on that one, I'm sure. <laughs> Hey, Felix! Felix has a quest for us while we wait for Miss Morrison, the crew leader, to play their video game. Hmm. <laughs> Do you see what I see? There, the fountain. They're not here yet. I, I don't understand. Something has to be wrong. Completely wrong. What, you can't see anything? It's so obvious to everyone. The disasters are piling up. Can you help me? I, I hope so. <laughs> you haven't lived here long enough. I understand now. Well, the ducks are missing. There are no ducks in the fountain. It's it's great that you want to help me. It's for the entire village's sake that we must find what happened to the ducks that swim in our fountain every summer. Every spring around this time, the fountain ducks come to stay all summer and swim in the cool fountain. They haven't returned from their winter migration, so I have a feeling that something has happened to them. Will, up at the mill on the hill, outside the village, is an avid bird watcher. He may have seen something. Can you ride up and ask him? Why, yes, I will. This is serious business for Felix. All right. Hill Mill Will! We're looking for some ducks. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Hi there. What's that? The ducks haven't returned from their winter migration? That's not good. All villagers like to look at the ducks during summer as they bathe and swim in the fountain. It would be a shame if they disappeared. Yeah, hmm. sounds like it. I haven't seen the ducks yet this year, but what I've seen in previous years is that they land one last time on Everwind Fields and rest before they head into the village and receive the people's cheers. <laughs> this is a big event, I guess. Maybe you can scout the field and see if you can find any clue of their whereabouts. Return to me later. Okay, I'm not sure what a clue would be. Oh, sparkles are clues. What do we have here? Conditions are fulfilled, okay. <laughs> Will will tell us, I'm sure. Hey, Will, we found something. Something in the field. Hmm. Oh, yes, this is a duck feather. That's correct. But it's oily. That is not good at all. The ducks must have gotten into trouble. Oh, no. Take this feather and tell Felix about this ominous discovery. He is at the fountain. Per usual. It definitely has something to do with GED, doesn't it? Felix, oil is involved. Oops. I didn't mean to trample you, buddy. Mm -hmm. This is terrible. What happened to our poor ducks? Oil, you say? What? Is Mr. Kemble drilling for oil in the Everwind Fields? Disaster! So you think the oily feather means that the disappearance of the ducks may have something to do with that slick Mr. Kemble's oil field? Hmm. The vet has analyzed the oil before? Okay. Bring the feather to the vet so she could see if it is Mr. Kemble's oil. Oh dear. Just when you think he can't get more evil than he already is. That's the most 
Hello, Nova. Of course I can analyze the oil on the feather. <laughs> That's awful. What if the ducks are stuck in the oil at Mr. Kemble's oil fields? If so, we have no time to lose. You must immediately head for the western Everwind fields and look for the ducks. I'll stay here and analyze samples for now. Come back here if you find some poor ducks in distress. Ooh, double time. On our way. Save the ducks. Looking for ducks in distress. Good day, sir. <gasps> There's one. <gasps> he is in distress. Look, he's covered in oil. <gasps> okay, five. There's there's two. Oh, I see another one over that way. Two in here. Three and four is over here. Oh, I see the last one. There it is. Oh, thank goodness we came over here. These guys didn't even care. They're just walking around. Passing all these ducks in distress. Didn't even bother. Okay, I think we return to the vet. Yes, she's waiting for us. Help the ducks, vet! Help them! No, no. Oh no, poor little ducks. They're covered in oil. You're a hero for saving them, Nova. Thank you. No, no. A special soap is required to clean the ducks properly. Their feathers can be destroyed otherwise. I've run out of this soap, and it takes too long to order it. Can you ride to Fergrove and ask to buy soap from Felicity? She's the one who makes them. Felicity is at Fergrove Stables. She runs the place. Oh, we know Felicity. She'll be happy to give us soap. She's nice, that Felicity. She here? There she is. Felicity! We need soap. Nova, it's good to see you here in our little village. Oh, some ducks have been covered in oil, you say? That's bad. Of course you could buy the special soap from me. I'm the expert on making special soaps for sensitive animals. That's adorable. <laughs> Here you go. Here's the special soap for the sensitive animals. It'll be perfect for the ducks. I guarantee they'll be white and clean again. Hurry back to the vet so she can clean the poor ducks. Okay, we're going. We're going. Quickly, soap for the ducks, madam. <laughs> Thank you, Nova. That was really fast. Now I could start the difficult job of cleaning the ducks of all this horrible oil. Oh, good luck. We'll check back tomorrow. All right, I stopped in Moreland to do some horse care, and Miss Tan has a quest for us now. Let's see what she needs help with. I got a Ooh, lots of money. I saved for a long time to be able to buy new riding clothes, and now all my money is gone. I must have lost it. They have to be here somewhere nearby. Can you help me look for them, please? There are three places I might have lost them. One is in the paddock next to me, near the hay. Or maybe I lost them during lunch? I, I sat on the bridge down by the water south of Mrs. Holdsworth's house. On my way back, I visited Mrs. Holdsworth and may have lost them by the benches in her cherry tree garden. I thought you weren't going to talk to her ever since that whole pie thing, Tan. Ah. Okay. Oh, let's look in the paddock here. Looking for money... Anything? Nothing. Uh-oh. Okay, lunch at Mrs. Holdsworth's. Picnic table. Anything? No. Uh-oh. That only leaves one place <laughs> left. I hope it's there. Let's check. Is it out here on the pier? Maybe? Ooh. Oh gosh. Sorry, Tan. Bad news. <laughs> no money, Tan. I'm sorry. You, you didn't find them? Typical, but thanks anyway. How could I be so careless? I have to remember other places I visited recently. I was at the blacksmith, you know, Conrad. I may have lost my money on the way back when I was riding a bit faster. Look along the road towards Conrad the blacksmith. His forge is to the north. I was riding along the racetrack, so start there, please. After that, you can talk to Conrad to see if he's seen any lost money. I hope so. <laughs> Anything? Whew. No. <laughs> oh, Tan, things are not looking good, my friend. I'm very sorry. Yep. Nothing. Okay, we'll talk to Conrad and see if he's seen anything. I hope so. 
Don't even know what it is. Hello, Nova. Oh, Tan lost her money? That's sad. I haven't seen or heard anything here. I think you'll have to return and tell her that. Sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no, she's a clock. Oh. She's got to think more about where she's been, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today, you guys. That's all we have time for today, but we are so close to level 13. I could taste it. So close. We'll get there soon. Probably next episode. It'll be a good time. <laughs> Alyssa recently got a Palomino Icelandic, congratulations, named Honey Princess, aka Sunny. And she's working really hard, and the horse is already level 9. So congratulations! Honey Clover is still level 2. <laughs> I'll work on it when I get the chance. I'm just so wrapped up in doing these quests. I know big things are coming and I'm excited to get it going and do some leveling up. So that's been my focus lately. What have you guys been focusing on? Do you switch back and forth quests? Racing? Oh, and I also want to know how you guys organize your closets. <laughs> I was trying to do that before I started the episode today and I didn't know, should I put things together that, that match? Should I put all, you know, the bridles together, all the saddles together? Should I put them by like Christmas and holiday? How do you guys do it? Let me know. Some of you are experts with, <laughs> with your wardrobe. So let me know how it's going for you. Zoe recently got a North Swedish horse, even though she's not high enough level yet to get to Dino Valley. She's prepared. <laughs> Uh, the name is Danger Beauty. I like that a lot. And I am so, so sorry. This might be my favorite comment in the history of time. She asked that I not get an Andalusian. Please. Anything but an Andalusian. I'm so sorry. I let you down. Zoe, I'm sorry. I got an Andalusian. <laughs> she said something just the way the eyes kind of look. They tend to look a little evil and a little mean. I can see where she's coming from. But I think the, p the pink brightens up Honey Clover a bit. Oh, I'm just so sorry. I just felt so bad. <laughs> but that's okay. There's more horses coming in the future. And congratulations on your horse. I hope you're having a blast. I am. <laughs> Thank you again for joining me, you guys. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you have fun. Remember to be kind to each other. Give a thumbs up if you like the video. Let me know what else you'd like to see. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!